Hi, I'm Laura. I am the Outreach Manager for the Merck Co-op, and we are going to talk about salad. So some folks maybe already enjoy salad as a meal, but for others, the idea of a salad may not inspire enthusiasm, and that was definitely true for me for a long time. But with a few helpful tips, I have found there really isn't any meal that is more refreshing, budget conscious, healthy, um, and pretty quick to come together. So I'm going to give those tips to you, and hopefully for those of you who already like salad, you learn something new. And for those of you who are maybe less than enthusiastic about the idea of salad, you are inspired to try something different. So first, we'll talk about the components of your salad. And the first thing that comes to mind is your greens. So the recipe I have for you today is an autumn salad. So we're using kale, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts, but the possibilities for that base of greens is pretty endless, something mild or sweet, like a butter crunch lettuce or romaine or iceberg. There's something smooth like spinach or kind of a frisé, which gives a different texture. There's sturdier greens, there's more delicate greens. So the important thing is to just choose something that you enjoy. And then that helps you kind of build the other things you're going to add to your salad. So when you go to add other vegetables or fruit or dried fruit or nuts or seeds or cheese, I think a helpful question to ask yourself is what does this add to my dish? So is it salty or sweet? Is it chewy or crunchy? Is it tangy? Is it peppery? Um, and if everything that you choose kind of has a different category, it will come together and make your salad more interesting. So keep that in mind as you're choosing your ingredients and there's a whole range to choose from. A healthy place to start is what's in season. And so in the springtime, maybe you add radishes or peas, beans, herbs, things like that. In the summer, you can add tomatoes, corn, peppers. Um, and then in the winter, things like things in the brassica family, those cabbages and kales and things like that, or winter squash. Apples are in season. There's just lots and lots of choices. So that might help you start thinking about what you want to add. Then if you want this to be a meal, it's best if you add some protein so it's got some holding power and you don't get hungry right away afterwards. And again, the possibilities are endless. There's, you know, all of the different meats, chicken, ham, turkey. Uh, you can always add steak. There's tuna, shrimp. Um, I personally enjoy adding edamame or chickpeas. Tofu is always an option. So again, choose something that you enjoy. And adding some sort of grain also kind of will help fill you up and keep you full. Um, something like quinoa is quick to come together. It has a higher amount of protein than the average grain, so that's a good option. But barley or farro has lots of chew, and that's satisfying. Um, you could always add rice noodles, again, whatever things that you sort of like. So you've got those components, then you'll need your dressing, and this is probably the part that most people get excited about. A simple vinaigrette recipe is just two parts oil to one part acid. So that can be lemon juice, balsamic, cider vinegar, champagne vinegar, avocado oil, olive oil, walnut oil, again, kind of choose the things you like and experiment. It's fun to try new combinations and it'll bring out different flavors in your salad. I would also recommend if you're making your salad dressing early, just make it in a little mason jar. Oftentimes they even have measures on the side so it's easy to mix it in here. And then you just shake it up before you add it to your salad the next day and you're ready to go. Um, it's also helpful if you have just a little container, something like this, so if you're traveling with your salad, that it doesn't sit and soak through your greens, especially if there's something lighter or more delicate. And that way you can add it just before you eat and it stays nice and fresh and doesn't get wilted on you. So let's jump into this autumn salad we're going to make today. And this is something that you could easily make in advance. Actually dressing it early is going to help soften up some of these sturdier greens. So make it early in the week and you can kind of keep serving yourself little bits as you go. We're adding half of a bunch of kale 
And this is Tuscan or Lazzanato kale. It tends to be a little more um, delicate than a green kale, which tends to be a little more sturdy. And to prep it for your salad, you're going to cut along the side of the rib here. I can hold that up. You're going to remove that center rib. It's pretty tough. So just run your knife right along that center stem. And once you have all of your greens removed from that stem, you're just going to roll them up together and slice them really thin. So I've got all of, this, all of the side leaves, I'm just going to roll them up tight and then just slice them thinly. And that's for pretty quick work. Add that to your big salad bowl. Then I've got my Brussels sprouts. If you've never tried these raw, they are delicious. You're just going to cut off this tough bottom end. And then it's easiest if you just cut it in half so you have a nice flat surface to work. And then we have just a few cups of shredded cabbage in the same way. Made this nice and thin, so we're going to add those right to our big bowl. You add one carrot and in a salad like this, I actually just like to use my vegetable peeler. It makes them a little more substantial than just grating them into strips. And that way they're about the same size as my cabbage and my kale. And it blends in really nice. So the carrot adds a little bit of crunch, but also a little bit of sweetness and color. The appearance of your salad can be really important. It makes it more exciting to eat if it looks beautiful. Okay. Add those in as well. And then the dressing for this salad is actually one part to one part oil to vinegar. And it's just going to make it a little bit stronger but that's going to stand up well with the greens that we have since they are sturdier and have a stronger flavor than something mild. So it's just a fourth of a cup of balsamic vinegar. And a fourth of a cup of olive oil. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup. That's going to add a little extra sweetness and give it kind of that autumnal flavor. And then we're going to whisk that together or just shake it in the jar. to the top of our salad. I tend to leave the salt and pepper for the end to just add it for taste. This recipe I believe has half a teaspoon of both salt and pepper. And it works well to just toss it with your hands. It gives you a sense of when everything is coated. So there's also just, I believe, two-thirds of a cup of cranberries. I'm going to be using dried cherries because that's what I had on hand. I'm also going to add some chopped walnuts because I like that little bit of extra crunch. And the walnuts are just a little bit bitter, which I think are going to add something extra and autumnal to this salad. And then I prepped a side of chicken to go along with it. Um, this is something you could serve as a side dish, but with that extra protein, it's going to keep you nice and full and definitely works as a meal. All right.
there we have it. And again, this is something you could make early, and as it sits, it's only going to absorb those flavors and even soften a little bit our kale and our cabbage. But when you slice them really thin like that, it's automatically going to make it a little more tender. So if you've tried a kale salad before and it was just too tough, this is a good method of slicing it so that it, um, it melts in your mouth a little more than, than a tough kale would. So I have a couple of other recipes that I included on our post on the website. Um, one is for kind of a Dijon dressing. Another one um, has a peanut dressing, but you could use any sort of nut butter. And again, those are kind of ideas to get you started thinking about what you might like and what your personal taste is and all the things that you could add from there. Well, thank you very much. Check out those recipes and come see us at the co-op.